When you think of 3D printing, you probably think of this Star Trek chess set or this Doctor Who Transformer or maybe even 3D printed pizza. Forget that low res noise. Over the last five years, resolutions have come up and the printing has become so much more sophisticated. Like now you can print functional tools with moving parts. And get this, there's now a 3D printer in space aboard the International Space Station. This means if something breaks, those astronauts don't have to wait for a resupply shuttle that could take a month to arrive. They just print out a replacement right there on the space station. Or check this out. A guy made a near-perfect replica of a 6th century Viking sword, which means visitors to the National Museum of Art in Norway can touch and feel it without damaging the very fragile original. 3D printing is well on the way to providing cheaper construction too. In China, they're making mansions and apartment buildings, and in Amsterdam, they're building a real working bridge. In medicine, 3D printing can help build prosthetic hands for kids, bone grafts that fit perfectly into your sockets, and delicate internal organs that can either replace your own broken parts or that can help a team of surgeons figure out exactly how to operate before going in for the real deal. And look at all these happy animals. We've achieved all this in less than five years. Yeah, it's pretty impressive, I guess. But I'm holding my horses until the European Space Agency gets around to 3D printing its base on the moon. Yes, that's a real thing. That's really happening. I'm telling you, 3D printing is already making the world around you, literally. And I can't wait to see what happens next.